to very drastically increase my hourly rates for the services I provide. And so I went from earning eight pounds. What is up, YouTube? Today, we are going to be talking about some, uh, some, uh, getting an aesthetic body. I don't know, that was a little weird intro, I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've been doing this. It's been a while since I've done YouTube. <clears throat> but let's talk about how to get your aesthetic body, like, the body of your dreams, like, like Chris Hemsworth type stuff. So, this is the ultimate guide. So if you're ready to transform your life, transform your lifestyle, transform how you approach it, approach fitness, tune in and watch this. So, I divided this up into three phases. Very easy to follow. Each phase should be about Three to six months, honestly, phase three should go on forever. And phase one and two can be as long as you want, but I recommend like three to six months for each of them. Ideally towards the six month side because you wanna, you know, build yourself up. But you want fast results, so let's do this fast. Phase one is muscularity. And this this is what people get excited about, muscularity. This in phase two, getting shredded. Like, this is all very exciting stuff, but it takes time. It takes a lot of time. Now, what I recommend for building up a good, like, muscular body where you have a solid foundation to start in phase one is train each body group, a body part, two times a week. One to two times a week, if possible, two times a week. And you take one rest day a week, two rest days a week, whatever. And you do calisthenics. You can do CrossFit, like kettlebells, whatever. You can do home workouts. You can do the gym. I recommend the gym because there's so much variety. You can do Olympic lifts. You can do whatever. But just do each body part one to two times a week. And you'll see your results skyrocket. Now... Here's how your workouts should be structured. They should be structured like, I'd say 10, if you don't know this already, sets is how many repetition, like is how many times you do a certain exercise. And not like reps where like you're counting it to like 10. It's like you do it 10 times, three times. So you do it a total of 30 times, but that three times is the sets, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain but sets and reps, everybody should know them, in my opinion. I think you should do <clears throat> 10 to 15 sets per body part, like body group. So shoulders, chest, triceps, 10 to 15 sets for all of, for like, well, maybe not for triceps and shoulders since they're smaller muscles, but for like the large groups, like chest, legs, back, you should do 10 to 15 sets. And for the smaller groups, I recommend six to eight sets, if that makes sense. Like biceps, triceps, traps, calves, all of that. And rest days, I don't do rest days that often at all. Like maybe once every two weeks, because I really enjoy the gym. Like after a while, you just get addicted to it. And that's the mindset that you need to adopt for all three of these phases is you need to be addicted to it. You need to have this mentality that, yeah, you don't have some ideal physique today, but you're gonna look that much closer tomorrow if you put in the work. And then one day you're gonna wake up, you're gonna have abs, and you're gonna be like, oh my God, this is fucking crazy. I've, I've never had abs in my life, like what the heck? But it's cause you put in that continual work and you just continued saying, I'm doing this for my future self. I'm doing this so I can be super happy with my body instead of fucking depressed with my body. And your health as well. I think you should take care of these things because you're only given one body and you need to take care of it. And I think hydration is important for this because muscles are mostly water. You need to drink 
like a gallon of water a day, probably. Creatine isn't necessary, I recommend it. Before your workouts, you need to eat carbs. Well, you don't need to, but I highly suggest it. I'm a personal trainer, so I'm, this is just my like professional recommendation. Eat carbs before your workout. It fills your muscles up with the right energy it needs. It will use mostly, like, your muscles will use mostly carbs anyways. So might as well give your <clears throat> body that extra boost while you're working out. Just eat a Rice Krispie Treat before you work out. And that could be, like, your dessert in the morning or whatever. And it'll just really help you out in your workouts and help you get better results in the future. And protein. This is what I ignored for, like, six years is protein. You have to eat one one plus grams of protein per pound of body fat. So say you're like me, you weigh 140 pounds. I know I'm light, I'm short, it's whatever. I weigh 140 pounds. I need to be eating 140 grams of protein, ideally. And now studies say that you need 0.8, but that's not optimal. The optimal is actually 1.2 times 1.4 grams of protein per pound of body fat. But we're just trying to keep things simple. One gram of protein per pound of body fat and that you'll be good, you'll be set. Now we can combine this with phase two or you can just move on to phase two if you don't feel like, you know, doing all this freaking eating and working out as hard as possible, all that, you just wanna get shredded and that's it. If you wanna get shredded, phase two, here we go. My, this is probably the, the two most important things are cardio and diet. Your actual muscular workouts in the gym don't really matter as much as your cardio and diet because you only burn like 200 calories maybe in the gym working out if you're working out really hard with weights or calisthenics or whatever. But if you actually do cardio with intent, it boosts, it boosts your endorphins. It like literally burns fat off. Your body gets into the fat burning zone. And it's, it's uh, if you do like really hard cardio, it'll get out of that fat burning zone, but you'll still build fat. I mean, you'll still burn fat. So cardio is good no matter what you do. Just don't do it in excess or else you'll use muscle as energy and you don't want that. So I recommend 10 to 25 minutes of cardio three to four times a week during this phase. And it's not a lot, it's really easy to do. You could go on a walk for 20 minutes three to four times a week and you'll be set. Try to aim for 10,000 steps every day. Um, that's it for cardio, really. It's really simple. And my rule is just find something you enjoy, like hiking, cycling, swimming, playing baseball with your friends, playing any type of sport, going on the elliptical if that's your jam, going on the Stairmaster, doing step ups, doing hit routines, anything like jump rope you can do anything you want just make sure you consistently do it because that's the po that's the point it doesn't matter how hard you go on a given day it matters that you're showing up each and every day because imagine this imagine if you go really crazy one week and you save 20 bucks and like that's your that's your crazy saving for the week and like you, you've never saved 20 bucks in your life like you've never put it in a savings account actually let's just go with 100 bucks you save 100 bucks once in a week and you never save again and you just you got burnt so burnt out from that 100 that you just never save again now imagine if you save five dollars per week for the next two years that would be probably like That'd be hundreds of dollars. And you wouldn't even realize it was there. Like you would, it would just build up so fast. And then one day you look at it and you have a good amount of money just from setting aside something that you wouldn't have realized past anyways, if that makes sense. So just do, just show up day by day, even if you don't feel like it, just do half a workout, do a quarter of a workout. The point is to show up and that's, that's what it is. And what really matters for cardio, it, I mean for burning fat, is diet. Quick interruption because I thought I should add this in, but calories. Calories are really important. I don't even know why I didn't talk about it, but 
for fat loss, I mean for muscle gain, keep your calories the same. If you want to increase them by like 100 to 200 calories per day by your maintenance, you can look up your maintenance online, T-D-E-E -E calculator. Look that up on Google, you'll find your calories. 1 to 200 calories above that is usually a good rule of thumb. And for fat loss, I recommend 2 to 300 calories less than your maintenance, coupled with cardio, high volume foods, high protein, high fiber. Um, just just exercising in general and eating less. So yeah, here's that quick little note. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Now, diet is really overlooked because people don't want to do it, but it's not that hard. It's really not. My, my guidelines is no fast food, or at least you can have fast food like once a week. Try not to eat out that often. Cook your foods, just like learn how to cook get creative in the kitchen and eat high volume foods and eat high protein now what are high volume foods it's like salads it's white bread white bread is a high volume food if you use utilize it properly which is really cool eggs um a whole bunch of foods apples they just, they offer you a lot of nutrition and volume for very little calories. And if you just eat those, you'll be full all day. You won't even want to eat fast food because you'll be so full from all the protein you've had, all the fiber you had, because those things, they make you, they take longer to digest. So you'll be full for longer and you'll lose more weight. And you can find things that you actually enjoy eating that are in these categories of low volume foods. Look up <clears throat> look up anabolic kitchen or anabolic foods. Those things are killer. They're a little bit out of my price range, so I don't do them, but they're really good. Um Yeah, that's it for phase two. You just need to do cardio, diet, do the same training. Like just stick to the same training. Diet, cardio, same training and just be intentional about your life and what you do and what you eat and what activities you're doing just design your life to where you actually enjoy doing these things don't kill yourself like don't make don't make yourself have a bad experience you know phase 3 main gaining main gaining is what i've been doing for a bit i don't really want to gain muscle i don't want i don't want to lose too much fat like i lose fat just because of my lifestyle really easily. So here's how I do it. Here's how to gain muscle without gaining fat. This is so great. And in phase one and phase two, you'll experience this. You'll gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. It's crazy. You, all you do is you eat the same protein, one gram of protein per pound of body fat. You eat nutritious foods or at least not fast foods or proce heavily processed foods. You train harder each every each and every day. Just track your progress and train one or two reps harder on each set than the other one, than the one from yesterday or the one from last week. Just make sure you're making continual progress, and that's called progressive overload, which is the stimulus for muscle growth. It's super important. You just need to train a little bit harder. It's not even going to be that noticeable, but you will have enormous results in the long run. Cardio, I would reduce it to like two to three times a week, just go on walks or whatever, because if you do too much, you'll burn off way too much energy and you'll just deplete your muscles. You could get re really shredded, but it's usually not worth it because your energy will go down. That's what I find at least. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this guide's all over the place, but you know, you know how it is, scramble brain. But I'll list out all the steps in the description. I'll, um, I give really in-depth personal training advice. On my website, it's nwtraining.com. And that's my personal training website where I do online training. And if you live in the Canton, Woodstock, Holly Springs, Kennesaw area in Georgia, I can train you in person and show you how to do exactly this and I can give you 
even more in-depth information and advice on how to get absolutely jacked or at least achieve what you want. And with that being said, go become a Chad or a Chad S. You got this. <laughs>